YouTube, welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Make Life Happy and I hope you guys are having a super blessed day because life is so good. So today I want to talk about yours for the taking, yours for the taking. The only creator in life is called God. And this is the life principle. This is infinite intelligence. And this power of life is within you. Um, our human imagination is God working within the depths of our own soul. And this power and this wisdom, we call it Jesus Christ in the Bible. So this power will awaken in you and you will know, you will know one day that you are God's power and that you are God's wisdom. God is your own human imagination and underlies all of your attributes, including your perception. So whenever you have a desire for something, you're normally looking for the ways that you're going to receive it. But we're told not to look for the ways, not to focus on the means, but just to focus on the end. So can you believe that your desires will be fulfilled? If you can, all things are yours for the taking. And this is because all things are possible to those who believe. Not what your parents believe, not what your family, your friends, your coworkers, your old friends, not even your old self. All things are possible to those who believe. So... It is up to you completely to believe, and then once you believe, then all things will be yours. All things will be yours for the taking. So your imagination or God creates all reality. There's not one thing in this world that wasn't imagined by the mind of man. So the scripture says, he who is not with me is against me. So there is no lukewarm. You're either hot or you're cold. So either you believe that imagination creates reality, or you don't believe that it creates reality. It is up to you to believe this concept and you can swim or you can sink with this concept. It is completely up to you. Faith is your fortune. So whenever you pray or you have a desire for something, you do not get on your knees and beg for it. So you go inwardly, mentally, and you commune with yourself. You see yourself having that specific desire. This is appropriating faith. So what you do is you're using your third eye or your pineal gland and you see yourself in first person having that desire so now you are imagining and you're creating what is yours for the taking you are god in a human body so god became us so that we may become him and this power awaits everybody this power is inside of you awaiting your every desire whether it's good or bad um in the book of isaiah it says i create good and i create evil i the lord create all things so you have the power to create good or the bad but I would suggest that you imagine good things because what you imagine, you're gonna get more of that. And remember that your own human imagination is the mental power that creates all reality. It is nothing on the outside. There's only one God, there's not two, just one. So a fool says that there is no God, but a wise man seeks to find the Lord. So the Lord is the law. So seeking the phenomena of life, the cause of life, should be every man's desire. When something happens in your life, go within and you reflect in your thoughts. And then you will discover that it was your own human imagination that was the cause of that experience. Again, whenever something happens in your life, anything, go within and mentally, mentally reflect on your thoughts. And then you will discover that the cause of life, the phenomena of life, is your own wonderful human imagination. Nothing on the outside. The power is within. We're all God wearing a mask with an earthly name. So your, your, your imagination is God within you. So your body is the temple of this spirit. Um, your imagination is spiritual sensation. So this is fourth dimensional and imagination is the only way to sense your true identity. You are a spirit inside of a body. One day everybody will have the thirst and the hunger for the word of God. So the, this word of God is the power that sets everybody free. Um, exercising your imagination will help you discover this power of God. A lot of people disagree with this, but they say they believe in God and they cannot define him. You cannot disprove with me that imagination creates all reality. Everything in this world was once imagined, and that is God himself. Nobody took God's life. He laid it down himself. 
He said, I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to lift it up again. So this, this was a deliberate fall. It was done on purpose. So God became us humans so that we may become him again. And this was the only death on the cross. Remember, the Bible is not literal. It is spiritual history and we're spiritual beings. So the entire Bible is a spiritual autobiography about us. So in the body of God, we're all spirits. That's all we are. We're just a spirit. Um, when you wear this body, you understand Paul's statement. He says, um, I consider the present time not worth comparing to the glory that has been revealed in me. So whenever you are in this body, you, you know yourself to be God and that this outer flesh means nothing. So you will come to the, to the realization that you are not male and you're not female, but you have always been the spirit of God. You are here to create and to use your creative power. So remember that everything is yours for the taking. If you want something, take it. If you want something, take it. And you take it by claiming it. So you claim it. You go within. You have to go within. You have to see yourself with your wish fulfilled. You have to sense it. You've got to feel it deep within your soul. You go within. You see yourself having it. You repeat the imaginal act in your mind over and over and over. Write it down if you want to. Whenever your mood changes and you go from the state of lack to the state of having what you desire, you've done it correctly. This is how you know you're doing it right. Um, if you're imagining something and you, and you have your eyes closed and you're vividly imagining what you desire and you open your eyes and you get shocked, you're shocked because you don't remember where you were, you've done it correctly. This is called change in motion, change in motion. So practice your imagined arts and you know you're doing it right because your mood's going to change. If your mood doesn't change, then you're not praying correctly. You're not imagining correctly. You can simply write down all of, all of your desires. Just write them down. Write down all your desires. doesn't matter what anybody else has to say. When you write them down, you're impressing your subconscious mind very effectively, very easy. This is the best way to impress your mind with the things that you do desire. So if you want uh, to have a house paid off, write it down. If you want better health, write it down. I'm so thankful for my amazing health. I feel fantastic. What would you be doing if you had this amazing health? Ask yourself. Maybe you're going to the gym more. You're going walking. You're going running. You're traveling more. You're playing more with your children, your grandchildren. You will be doing all of these things. Maybe you want to have an online, bu an online business. Um, what type of product or service are you providing to the world? How are you changing and impacting other people? Maybe you want to have a restaurant. What type of restaurant is it? Um, how many employees do you have? Where is your location? Um, what do the chairs look like? What does your menu look like? You have to be very specific. You can have everything in life by simply imagining for everything in life is yours for the taking. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video, The Seven Eyes of God. The Seven Eyes of God. And we will be talking about the seven chakras. The seven chakras. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.